Bill, it's no secret many addicts just want to get sober. When you first began this detox process, mm -hmm. It was rough. Yeah, it was very rough for the first two days, yeah. With an addict mindset, you, you gotta switch. I want, to, I want to be clean. I'm tired of this lifestyle. I'm 100% committed to staying sober. The question now, could a new form of treatment just approved by the FDA be the answer? This is a look at the newly approved drug, Probufine. It is placed just under the skin of the upper arm by a trained healthcare provider. Probufine delivers buprenorphine continuously for up to six months. It's for patients who are in the maintenance stage of their treatment as a way to stem cravings. The device, which you could see here, is made up of a few different pieces about the sizes of matchsticks. It lasts for six months, releasing buprenorphine. Buprenorphine is a commonly prescribed medication to treat opioid dependence. Some patients and doctors are now calling it a game changer. Uh, the way buprenorphine has been prescribed for the past decade has been in a, in a physician's office. And they usually will get up to a month's worth of prescription that they will take every day on their own. The challenge there is that there really isn't much stopping a person from forgetting to take their medication or intentionally not taking their medication for a day or two or three or more. So under the tongue, nothing to drink for 10 minutes. There you go. Thank you. But others aren't that optimistic. It sounds like, a, it sounds like, a, like an operation type thing, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not into that. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Indra Simbadi runs a network therapy in Middlesex, New Jersey, the ambulatory Outpatient detox not only helps addicts wean off the drugs, but it also offers them counseling and therapy. Two services that doctors and body believes will be kicked to the curb when patients no longer have to regularly see their doctor. Our, you know, American culture has become like, I want quick fix. I want a pill, happy pill, sad pill. You know, I want it all. Medication should fix me. We need to stop and think. It's not, medication is not an answer. Now the call for this sort of medication came because there was actually a black market for the drug it offers on the streets. People were selling their oral medication, buprenorphine or suboxone. Now some people believe this implant will solve that problem, but others say, you know, those who were selling this drug on the streets, they weren't that far in their recovery. The thing I'm worried about with suboxone is I've had multiple friends go, go away to rehab, go to detox, and they ended up getting uh, the suboxone maintenance and they ended up getting addicted to the Suboxone. So under the tongue, nothing to drink for 10 minutes. There you go. Thank you. My, my, all right, so I need to understand, the new drug, this to me, I can't see a downside. I mean, I know that we talked about the money and I, under, I but I, let me understand the people who were opposed to it. Are they opposed because they don't think it's gonna be effective enough or do they think that it's gonna be a setback or a danger to people? They think it doesn't get to the root cause as to why we have an addiction problem. They think it's an easy fix for people yeah. to just go get something placed in their arm and you know, forget about why did you actually go down this path? It does bring up that point, and we've talked about this with Narcan, where now that that's gonna be available over the counter, right. the fear is that this could become a real enabler for people to think, wow, I can increase the high, I don't have any consequences because I can just take Narcan. This seems to be on a completely different track because these are already people in therapy working through detox.